In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the best offense, I believe, in the entire game of Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. I want to say Happy New Year to all you guys that are looking to basically start a new chapter in Madden 21. And to be honest, I know I am. I'm looking to be 100% better on the ball offensively and defensively. And so I just wanted to share this with you really quickly. Now, if you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about helping you get better. Uh, we post four videos a day on YouTube to try to do that. We post videos at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, and at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to do that. And from what I've heard, most of the people that watch my YouTube channel aren't actually subscribed to me. In fact, only about 40% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed to me. So if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button, it helps the channel out a ton. And you can always unsubscribe at a later date if you want to. And again, it's completely free to do that. Okay, guys, so a lot of you might have just gotten the ga got in the game or maybe you got some extra Christmas money, and I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, my New England Patriots offensive ebook. Now, this ebook, uh, we're going to give you a free sample today that kind of breaks down a little bit of kind of what you would expect in the guide and kind of some of the really um, amazing route combinations and setups that I believe that we put together for you guys. It really will help you just, I think, just take your Madden game to the next level. It really does. Um, break the game down really really well uh, one of the guys that picked up the ebook actually just won a hundred dollars cash um, in our CFM he actually won the Super Bowl using this offensive ebook one of the other guys has actually been consistently in the top 100 in weekend league a lot of guys have been in the top 100 and either mutt head to head or regs or whatever so this is a really really good offensive ebook I think you're gonna find that it's also really versatile it's really deep um, we cover over 300 um, pages of material, so literally every single thing we cover. We cover literally wing tight all the way through shotgun empty base flex. And in my opinion, there's no other ebook on the market right now that actually goes through every single formation with every single play and actually helps explain exactly how to use them. And again, one of the guys that picked up the guide at first, this was the guy that picked it, or uh, one of the guys that picked it up said, you know what, I don't know what to do with all the formations. And I said, you don't have to run all of them, just master a few of them, right? And there's some really, really powerful formations in this playbook. In my opinion, New England has been the best playbook in Madden for a couple of years now, but this year is on another level so i want to break this play down from you it's one of the best plays in madden it's x drag trail uh from the gun split close you don't need any abilities to run this you don't need any hot route master you don't need anything at all to run this and we're just going to run this kind of against the meta defensive as, as of late uh which is the nickel three through five wide and again if you want to pick this ebook up if you enjoy watching this and you enjoy what you see in the in this little sample play you can pick the ebook up in the description if you would like a little bit more of a sample size we actually have um, three hours of sample formation that we provide for you in our text message membership. So all you got to do is just shoot me a text to pick it up. My number is 812-216-3644. What you'll find is this is by far the best offensive ebook in Madden 21 and the best offense in Madden 21 in my opinion because we truly not only just teach you the plays but we teach you how to run the plays and we teach you why to run the plays and we teach you what to do with it and how to actually scheme out of it and how to do more than just run money plays over and over and over again so this is going to be a money play that we're going to show you we're going to show you kind of one of the highlights but just realize that the whole ebook when you put it all together it really teaches you how to scheme out of it and how to really like actually work the ball down the field against any defense in the game so Enough of that. Let's get into the tip. So I've got my curl flat set to 20, and I've got everything else kind of on default, to be honest. And we're going to be working on this right here, kind of kind of go over some Mabel coverages and different things that you can do. But this is a simple yard gainer out of split close pads. I, I don't know any other way to say it. Um, it's literally just going to get you yards. Um, it, it really is. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put our back here on the right. I like to put him on a flat route little swing route I don't actually like to put him on a table route anymore I used to I, th I really like the swing route I mean I really really like the swing route um, and you'll see why in a little bit then we're gonna smart route Chris Godwin and then from there what I like to do is I like to take Evans and I like to I actually really like to put him on a slant route you don't have to you could put him on a hitch if you wanted to I, I've also put him on a flat route it depends if there, if I'm expecting more zone coverage then I'm gonna put him on a flat route if I'm expecting more man coverage then I'm gonna put him on a slant okay so first and foremost I want to show you this against man-to-man -man coverage and I want to show you what it can do for you um, against man-to-man -man coverage so your first read is this little quick flat route to the back as you'll see right here um, 
this is going to create a natural man switch. Now, if you wanted to, you could wheel the back. There is a 100% valid reason to want to do that. Um, you could also put him on a flat route if you wanted to. But what I have found is when you put him on this little, um, when you put him on this little swing route, oftentimes there's a natural man switch that is going to occur, and you can get the ball out quick and go uh, about your business. Now, typically this occurs whenever their user is on the running back. So if their user is not on the running back, let's say like this right here, where the outside linebacker is on the running back, then what you'll see here is he's actually going to stay with him. Okay, So that's just something to be aware of. The next thing that you're going to have, though, on this is you will sometimes have that running back. So just peek at it. You're not always going to have it, but you will sometimes. Okay, So just give it a little peek seat. If you don't have the running back, and what I actually like to do is I actually really like to motion this route to the right and snap it on the move. I find that that helps the separation a little bit. But the slant route is going to come right across your face, and most of the time you can't miss that slant route. That slant route is so consistent against man coverage. It's actually really, really consistent against zone coverage as well. Um, it's just it's just one of those routes this year. It's one of those routes that I feel like it's a must-have route on every single offense in Madden 21. The next thing coming right behind that slant route is you've got that little trail route to the Leonard Fournette. And it gets really, really deep. You don't have to hot route it, uh, which is really nice because you don't have to really have any abilities to run this. Um, I prefer running Hot Route Master kind of across the board or having like a tight end apprentice or a you know a slot apprentice or something always on my field but that's just kind of a personal preference you don't have to have that to run this play um, the next read we're going to have is we're going to have this tight end post as you can see here the tight end post is going to come right up across the middle and it's going to be very very effective now again a lot of the meta is shifting to some type of cover zero they're shifting a lot of people are shifting to like cover zero defense with one step ahead corners and they're blitzing the crap out of you and you're asking cody how do i beat that what do i do what what's effective against man this little motion post route when you smart route it just torches man coverage to the inside um, of course i get picked as soon as i say that Part of the reason that it's not working as well for me in practice mode as it would work for probably you in Madden Ultimate Team is because my receiver, Chris Godwin, doesn't have um, he doesn't have like 90 deep route running. If he had 90 deep route running, this would work a lot better. Because he doesn't, it'll be a little bit inconsistent. But basically, you're going to throw it to the inside, you're going to click on, and you're going to possess and catch it. One of the other things I've actually really thought that has worked really, really well for this is if you run this and you do something like a you know maybe a low ball or something like that you'll see right here if I low ball this it'll kinda come into the rest of the play so just kinda be mindful of that but that route is actually typically been really really good for me um, especially if they press coverage you know if they run like some type of press coverage on you uh, this route will work really well make sure to smart route it to me that's the really big key to this thing but if that route doesn't work you have several other routes that are going to get open and these routes actually bounce really really well the post routes the, the angle routes the different things like that they actually kind of play well off of one another which is really really nice Okay, so what about zone coverage? So we beat man coverage, but what about zone? And what is the most popular zone this year? Cover 3 Mabel, 100%. If they're not running cover 3 Mabel on you, um, they're crazy. Most people are running cover 3 Mabel. They've got 20-yard um, curl flat zones. they got 5-yard flat zones. And then what they're going to do is they're going to deep half their outside corner so that they don't get burned deep. That's what I would do. That's what I've coached people to do. That's what our defensive ebook says to do. Um, so here's how you beat it. Okay, so you're going to run the same setup. But this time, what you're going to notice is these little underneath, like, in-breaking patterns are going to come wide open really, really quickly. So, for example, this slant route is going to come open right there in that window, as you can see. So if you see them jump out to guard the running back, odds are you're going to have your slant open about 9 times out of 10, as long as they don't use it. And the reality is they're going to use it. Most of the time they're going to use it, at least that's been my experience. And so if they use her, you got a lot of if this, then that type of formula. So if they use her this, then you throw that. So if they use her that, then you're going to throw that right there to your tight end. Or, and this is one of my favorite plays uh, in the entire game for Mabel coverage, because let's say that they take their, their user and they kind of keep him over on the right side of the field, right? They're trying to, basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to stop this route to Leonard Fournette. Or not Leonard Fournette, they're trying to stop the slant, the slant flat combo. That's where that route right there is borderline unstoppable. That route becomes borderline unstoppable when they start usering on the right side of the field. 
because the flat routes and the curl flat routes are not going to respond to it. They're not going to even know it exists, to be quite honest with you. They're literally going to just sit there and allow you to dot them up over and over and over again for a consistent read. So you see zone coverage and they're not using that route right there. That route's going to be open 100% guarantee you that. Now, what are they going to do to stop that? What would they? What, what might they do to stop that? What are some things that they could do? Well, one of the things that they could do is they could basically take this guy and essentially pop him over in this area. What that's going to do is it's going to open up the slant, but I just want to show you that specific route because I want you to see what happens. Yes, he's going to sit there for a second. He really doesn't get him. He really, he really doesn't actually get him because this is a deeper angle route. This angle route is going super, super deep. And so what, what really is nice about this angle route is it really does beat pretty much everything. They pretty much have to user that route for them to stop that route if they're in zone coverage. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So like right here, if I just lowball him right there, you see there's no yellow in his vicinity, not even one. There's no yellow zone whatsoever. Now let's say that I run cover two, right? Cover two has yellows to the outside linebackers. So let me show you that really, really quickly. You're going to see that with cover two, Yes, the yellow will sit there, but as you can see, the yellow kind of shifts to the middle against that slant. The slant is going to pull the yellow to the middle of the field. And what that's going to do is it's going to leave wide open that angle route in the back end of the defense. So as you'll see right here, I got the slant that's going to pull the yellows, snap of the ball, and I just low ball that route to Fournette. And as you can see, it's an easy snap throw. It's wide open and very effective against some coverage. So you have them in a little bit of a bind. And to be honest, it's darn near impossible to stop this play because if they user on this side of the field right here, let's say that green users over here, okay? The, by the time that the slant crosses his face, if he chooses to stay there right there, then I know that I have that window right there to Mike Evans right across the defense, right across in that space. If you wanted to leave him on a drag, you could do that as well. It's just that the drag is not as effective against man-to-man -man coverage as a slant route would be. The next thing that they might be might want to do is that let's say that they let's say that they user him, right? Let's say that they try to take him away with their user player. Then what's going to happen? Well, if they do this, then we do that. So if they go with him, if they follow, that leaves this void right here, and now I can hit my tight end route over and over and over and over. Now you might be asking, well, Cody, what if they actually take the safety away, right? What if they literally don't play any deep zone on that side of the field because they're trying to stop the short or any stuff? And basically what they're telling themselves is they're adjusting to your adjustment. Well, that's a great question. What you're going to see is they're going to do something like this, right? This is 100%. And I'll tell you right now, I've ran split close a lot this year. I've seen this a lot. Like this coverage right here is actually very, very common because they don't really think that you're going to hit them over the top. They think the post route is going to come from the left side. They don't really anticipate the post route coming from the right side. So again, you run this right here. And basically what you'll notice is this post route, hard left pass lead is going to be a one play bomb right over the top. If they take that, if they take that safety away or that corner away and they're pushing him down at the defense. So this play is really, really tough to stop. In fact, I think it's one of the toughest plays to stop in the entire game. So what they're going to do, they might just go to cover two. And they might just try to use her the middle of the field. And they might say, you know, you can have, you know, anything deep, but we're not going to give you these little short zigs and ends and all that stuff. If they do that, then you do this. As you see there, you can have a chance to hit that post route over the top of the defense. The other thing that I really want to point out is this post route to the tight end is really really effective this post route to rob Gronkowski right here um most people don't really understand how this is like probably one of the most powerful routes of man 21 but as you can see he's gonna typically get over the top of cloud flats most of the time cloud flats won't actually play that specific route late in the play so if they do something like this where they're double flatting on both sides then you're going to have a lot of success being able to beat pretty much any kind of defense that they're going to bring. Again, the angle route is wide open every single play. I just want you to know that. As you can see there, that time the corner did come back on that. So that's just something to be a little bit of aware of. But I could have hit that super early as well in the play. And again, like I want to point out pretty much all day long with this play, this angle route to the back, it's deeper. Like if I just put him on a Texas route, you see how short that is? He's not on that. He's on that. And that route is deep, that route is effective, and that route is one of the things that makes this play so powerful. That low ball right there, I cannot stress to you how good that is because they now cannot use her both sides of the, of the field. 
In fact, one of the things that I'll do off of this play, one of the other setups that I like to go to, is I like to angle route the right side running back if I have a backfill master. And basically I'll flat the two inside guys, and it looks exactly the same, but now their user is on the right side, and so I can hit that quick pass to Shady McCoy on the right, on, or their users on the left side, and now I can hit that quick pass to Shady McCoy on the right side. And to be honest with you, if you actually wait for just a second, maybe you don't hit a, a quick pass out of this, it's okay. These routes will cross right across each other, and they'll continue to go to their prospective spots. They both beat man-to-man -man coverage. They both beat pretty much every zone in the game. They're very, very effective. All in all, guys, in summary, the split close is only one of over 36 formations that we break down in the New England Patriots offensive ebook. If you want to get the full split close formation breakdown, just shoot me a text message. My number's in the description. It's right there as well, 812-216-3644. But that's just one play. In this New England ebook, we break down over 36 formations with over 300 pages of material, okay? And we actually offer over 10 hours of video breakdown. So it's not just written breakdown, there's also videos that go along and explain to you the progressions, how to how to read it, what, you know, basically what it does, and we've kind of crafted these plays to be very effective against whatever the defense does. So you always have answers to the blitz, to the max coverage, to the man coverage, to the zone coverage, to the run defenses. You have a lot of answers with this ebook. So that being said, happy 2021. If you haven't picked up the ebook yet, I would highly encourage you to do so. I think it's the best offense in the entire game. And I think a lot of people would agree with me that it is, especially the people that have picked up the ebook. Because most of the people that have picked up the ebook, every time I check in and I'll say, hey man, how's it been going with the ebook? They'll almost always without fail, they'll respond to me and they'll say, it's the best ebook I've ever bought, or this was such a good purchase, or I've now won, I'm now winning 80 to 90 percent of my games, or my offense is unstoppable. Those are messages that I literally get every single day of the week. And so, if you're struggling on offense and you want to take your offense to another level this year in 2021, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and pick up that New England Patriots ebook. You never know, it can win you a lot of money. It's won one of my guys that plays in money leagues. It's won him over $3,000 in the last two months. That's cash money that he's been able to make playing Madden 21. So, again, if you haven't picked it up yet, highly encourage it. I think it's going to be a huge help to you. I really appreciate all your guys' support. And, again, I don't just want to ask you to pick up my ebook and not give you some, something that's worthwhile. Put a ton of energy into this ebook for you. But I also want to let you know that if you want to get the sample formations, you can get those for free. Just shoot me a text message. We have split close, um, a slot offset, I think another one broken down in our text and message membership. So just shoot me a text. I'll shoot you the samples. You can check them out. I, I think once you see the samples, you're going to realize that they're just samples and the real meat of the the real meat is still on the bone in that ebook. So, um, again, guys, I just can't stress to you how, how good it is. It's, it's a tough offense. It's really good. It's, it's really hard to stop. Um, I've played it myself. Like, I've played subscribers of mine who have picked up the ebook, and I struggle. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I don't know what to do. So, um, it's a really, really good offense. Thanks for your time, guys. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed this little breakdown, and, uh, and and honestly, hopefully you'll pick up the ebook. I really think you're going to like it. I really think it's going to be very helpful to you, and um, yeah, we'll see you tonight on stream. If you have any questions, hit me up via text message or show, uh, show up on the stream tonight at 10 o'clock. We'll be streaming live action at 10. Thanks for your time.